what up everybody i'm Jeannie. welcome back to magenta tarot messages we're gonna be doing a general reading for the virgos all right we're gonna be seeing what's in your energy and what you should be aware of at this time i've already shuffled for this and you already know what it is so let's just begin what's the most dominant thing in virgos energy loving me now okay so somebody is choosing to love themselves choosing to have self-love choosing to do the things that are best for them here mariah carey okay because we all know mariah carey was um connected to nick cannon nick cannon had a lot of baby mamas has a lot of baby mamas has a lot of children all right, and Miss Mariah Carey is over there taking care of her two kids, um, minding her own business, has a boy and a little girl. This could be significant in some type of way. Um, Virgo, loving me now. What's this energy for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. This her diamonds are a girl's best friend. getting your hair done at this time okay getting extensions highlights or something we got the tower the world card and the seven of swords all right there's a tower happening okay it's going to be bring completion to some type of deceit to some type of um betrayal what's the tower What's the tower energy? The four of cups. The tower is somebody missing out on an opportunity or the mist of an opportunity causing excess, causing an imbalance, causing extremes to happen. Devil card, causing somebody to be very toxic, fucked up, um, angry, excessively angry, obsessive. What's this energy for Virgo? Who's the devil in the temperance in the reverse? Who's in this devil energy? Could be a Capricorn, a Sagittarius. Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody here. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. This is someone here who is in feminine energy, whether it's male or female. This person with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, they're in their feelings and they want to return to something, but something is over. Someone is loving themselves now. It's causing somebody to want to return, to stay in a negative situation, to keep trying here, Virgo. What's the Seven of Swords? The Four of Swords. Somebody is seeing um, someone... Who wants to rejuvenate all right who wants to contemplate who wants to take a rest who wants to take a break from all the conflict the deceit okay so there's a world color there's an ending to somebody who wants to get away from all the bullshit and they're seeing that as something that makes them angry that's causing them a tower four of swords and the sun card yeah somebody who just wants to be happy again all right, they want to love themselves. They want to be happy. They want to be okay. They don't want to be stressed out, scared, be in a fearful situation. Don't want to be thinking about deceitful things, worried about shit all the time, looking over their shoulder. Um, why, why are you telling Virgo about this? So we have the Empress, the Two of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. There is something coming up here, okay? In the future, this could be changing the fortune of the future. All right, but with the Empress card, there could be somebody. This could involve children. Um, this could involve a pregnancy. Or this is your energy, the feminine energy, all right? I feel like you are fruitful. You have something that you want to start 
or is happening for you in the future. And this is changing the fortune of how something or someone thought it would go. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Four of Wands and the Page of Swords. So somebody could be changing our home, moving homes here. Um, just moving away in general. And with the Page of Swords energy, um, they could be learning something or somebody could be watching them. The King of Cups. The Chariot and the Justice card. Okay, so this could make somebody learn that they need to move forward into maybe legal mitigation um, with the Justice card, move forward. Or this could make somebody here want to move forward, move, come in for, to balance out the situation. All right, so you're making somebody angry about doing something here, Virgo, Three of Cups and the Two of Cups. The Death card, the King of Swords, and the Two of Swords. You're making somebody angry by choosing to love yourself here and wanting to like live without fear and terror 24 fucking 7. Um, this is you changing your home. You're moving away from a situation. You're walking the fuck away here. This is causing somebody here to want to make the wise decision instead of being in this asshole decision, asshole energy to want to come towards you either legally or to balance out the situation. This is going to bring some type of ending with the King of Swords and the Two of Swords. This person thinks like it's going to bring an ending if the authorities is involved, but with the Two of Swords this is a hard decision. You have the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups. This person wants to come in and they want to party. They want to be a friend. They want to have a party community uh, partnership. They want to um, have a peaceful partnership here and end out the decision of going legal. They don't want you to go the legal situation. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. They want to balance being left out in the cold. Blah, 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 blah. Because you being single and independent is going to bring a tower to them. It's going to be a pain and a loss for them. They know they need to recommend, recommend some type of situation because they're disappointed about how it's turning out, Virgo. Page of Pentacles, they have the desire to fix something with you. The lovers, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. This is somebody here who um, is being left out of the situation, Virgo. They don't want to. They don't want you to maybe get a legal divorce, do something legally. They don't want the legal the law to be involved in some type of way. They're in this obsessive, toxic ass energy right now, but soon they're gonna switch up their energy and come towards you in a more balanced way, hoping that it could mitigate things between you. They could even talk about being lovers or loving you or try to bring love into the situation to see if that would change anything, Virgo, but I don't think it will. Um, somebody's in a... <laughs> They don't like the fact that you're over here loving yourself now. And you choosing to be separate from this energy is just going to make somebody um, very toxic, obsessive, and vindictive. And do whatever they need to do to get back in your energy. You may have to put like a protection order against this person. Protect yourself or, you know, involve the law somehow. Somebody is unstable. We got Kiss My Ass to the Haters. All this Mariah Carey energy. All right. Mariah Carey could be very significant. I'm just hearing we belong together. Who else am I going to lean on when times get rough? Who else is going to talk to me? Got no phone to the song comes up. Who else is going to take your place? Ain't nobody better. Ooh, baby, baby, we belong together. All right, so somebody believes that you belong to them, something that you have belongs to them. There's some type of possessive ass energy here. But Virgo, you're in the energy of loving me now, telling this person to kiss your ass. 
You've already made up your mind about a decision. You're very happy about this decision. You think it's the right thing to do here, Virgo. Tell me about this kiss my ass energy for Virgo. Some people like wearing makeup, false eyelashes, long hair. The five of cups, yeah. You're disappointing somebody because you're telling them basically to kiss your ass, okay? It's the same energy we got before here. The full card, yeah, you're having a new beginning. Can't sleep at night because you always on my mind. I did that on the radio singing to me if you think you're lonely now. Wait a minute, this is too deep, too deep. I gotta change the station, gotta call him up, gotta catch a break. And then I see your baby face, I only think of you. It's breaking my heart, trying to keep it together, but I'm falling apart. I'm getting all down on my elephant, some things crying, trying to figure out where the hell I went. Somebody is in their fucking feelings, in some bitch ass energy. I'm not gonna lie, this is some feminine ass, bitch ass energy. Somebody here, either what, male or feminine, is deep in they in they feelings, crying, throwing things, breaking things, forgot where the hell you went, Virgo. Somebody's very disappointed in how, you having a new beginning here with the six of swords energy. You may be moving quickly, okay? Just disappearing, ghosting on that ass, telling them to kiss your ass, not caring, Virgo. This could be causing haters to be disappointed. Um, Ten of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. All right, with the Ten of Cups, I feel like you are going towards your inner happiness. You're trying to fulfill your own dreams. Um, with the Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords, somebody's getting news of this and feeling like they're victimized in some type of way. Uh, feeling like they're restricted in some type of way. By you moving, by you doing something, it restricts them. Seven of Cups. I feel like this person is thinking that you have some type of illusion. They have some type of illusion about you only caring about your own personal satisfaction here. Okay, when it comes to the past, their memories, healing a situation. Somebody is in the illusion, has the illusion that you're doing this because you want your own satisfaction. But Virgo, this is for your emotional stability. All right, this is this is because you need this. They're having no results with this energy. You're having no results trying to work with this person. It just won't fucking work. The sun card, the strength card, the sun card, the ten of wands, the strength card, and the chariot. Virgo, and you're deciding the best way to get success, the best way to get positivity, even though it will be stressful. Um, you have the strength to move forward. That's the energy here. So keep it pushing. Keep it moving. If you want to move, if you want to get away, tell those haters to kiss your ass, even though it may hurt them, Virgo. It may put somebody in this bitch-ass energy where they're crying, throwing things, throwing tantrums. I'm mad, want to be big dictable and hater-ish, Virgo, who cares? Um, do what's right for you, your family, and everybody involved. It gives you the most peace of mind and health in a situation. And, you know, don't, don't care about the rest. <laughs> All right. Well, there's somebody watching you trying to move on with your life, and they're like, uh-uh. unpaid bills all right somebody's in the energy of not being able to pay their bills um i heard can you pay my bills pay my credit card my bills my dun -dun 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 um somebody may be broke here what's this energy for virgo energy for Virgo we have the eight of coins all right yeah this is about money this is about um you working somebody working and still not having enough to pay bills 
Who's in this energy? The world card. Completion. The Ace of Wands. The Fool card in the reverse in the Wheel of Fortune. Virgo. Somebody here is in the energy of not being able to pay some type of bill. They're not being able to... Um, pay their bills. They're not having enough money. They're working hard to master to get over this, to bring a completion to this. All right. But whatever they do is short term. And with the fool in the reverse, it's like they're being taken for a fool. They're doing something risky here. Will of fortune that could cause uh, their fortune to be fucked up. Okay. Somebody did something to ruin their own fortune. Cause things to not go in their way, Virgo. This could have been something they're used to doing before, but now it's not working for them. What's the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Somebody could be running towards their friends, okay? Wanting to gather, um, wanting to ask the community, doing something in the community. A fast action in the community. King of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. But they're missing an opportunity. This is the energy of somebody. Hmm. Somebody's having bad fortune right now. All right. Somebody's not being able to pay their bills. They're trying to end out the situation. They may be going towards people, places, and things to help them. Or they may have... Some type of ambitious thinking about how to disconnect from this energy. Or they're contemplating about how they can get their money back up with the King of Pentacles. How they can get their abundance back up. Death card and the Five of Wands. Somebody wants to transform the conflict that's happening for them. They want to end the conflict that's happening for them. The emperor in the verse. Somebody may be losing a job. Okay. Losing their structure. Losing a job here. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups. They may be losing. Somebody may be fucked up. Not paying their bills. Not focused on these things. being Having bad karma. Things going bad for them, Virgo, because they're f they're focused on you. What? Strength card in the reverse. Somebody feels very weak. In it, this extreme energy here, Virgo. They're willing to win at all costs. They have the desire. They have the desire to be enlightened about something, to receive something from you, Virgo. That may be like fucking up their other, everything else in their life here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Eight of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Wands. There's some type of decision about um, you walking away, a difficult decision about you walking away and what that's going to hold in the future that is fucking with somebody. I feel like this is like the cherry on top of all the conflict here. Somebody wants to receive something. They want to see you, so they might be coming forward. Virgo, this is the energy of somebody very unstable. All right, physically, mentally, financially, they're losing out things, structures into their lives. Or either they're losing out on things or this is making somebody very dominant, rigid, making them somebody crazy, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here. Virgo, they're missing an opportunity is making them want to like find you in the community, pop up on you in the community here, Virgo. They're all worried about showing up and doing something to you when they have unpaid bills, bad karma, and things coming for them. I feel like you were like the cherry on top in a situation where it was already down bad, Virgo, and now they're just like obsessed very toxic, um, looking to pull up on you, come towards you in some type of way. 
and I don't trust that energy at all. I don't even like it. I just, I'm going to put that away. Um, so protect yourself, move, hide, Virgo. This is that energy I was getting. You deciding to get the fuck away from a situation, not caring who is hurting. And it's that person who's hurting, somebody who's financially unstable, not doing good, emotionally unstable in this bitch energy, trying to catch you up. Trying to do something crazy, Virgo. Okay, so, you know, do what you got to do to keep everything safe and moving accordingly for you. This is what I got here for the Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.